Joining us at the top at six tonight, a child abandoned. His parents can't be found. He was left in a field to fend for himself. Channel 5's Angela Vargas live in Brownsville near where the boy was found. This is it. This is the cornfield where a three-year-old boy was wandering in. A Border Patrol agent heard his cry for help. Other children faced the same fate. A group of illegal immigrants made their way across the river. They ran from Border Patrol agents into this field just south of the border fence. Inside the rows, a baby's cry for help. A picture shows an agent finding the boy. And it's been like every day more and this time more and more, more people coming in. Homeowner Adela Granado has lived near these fields for 50 years. She tells us the three-year-old is not the only unaccompanied minor stranded by smugglers. Some make it past the fence to her home. Tell me what you saw last week, if you can. Um, I saw a couple of kids. Well, one kid, they made me through that road. He was about nine years old, seven or eight years old. By himself? Yeah, by himself. They left him behind. Border Patrol agents found the three-year-old's name and a phone number written inside of his shoe. He was taken to the hospital. Agents are unable to reach his family at this time. Agents tell us the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services will take care of the boy for now. In Brownsville, Angela Vargas, Channel 5 News at 6. Uh, children abandoned by their smugglers. As the lady mentioned in Angela's report, we found out it's happened in the past. We looked through our archives and found it happened once last year and twice in 2016. Last July, an eight-year-old child was abandoned near Waslico. Agents say the child spoke an unknown dialect. They believe he was from somewhere in Mexico. In May of 2016, a two-year-old Honduran boy was found alone. A group of people who crossed illegally spotted the child wandering alone in the brush in Hidalgo. The group took the toddler with them. They later surrendered to Border Patrol. And also in 2016, agents in Granjeno came across a two-year-old unaccompanied girl from El Salvador. A group of migrants who crossed with her told agents the smuggler handed the child to them and then went back to Mexico. She was wearing the shirt you see here. It had her name and phone number written on it.